and another well hit ball. A long way to right center field and it's gone. An absolute missile to the opposite field and Bo Bichette has his eighth home run of the season. He is on, I don't even want to call it a tear. It's just, it's who he is. this is who he is. <laughs> yeah, that, that's exactly right. It's who he is. Got to break them all and the Blue Jays hitters have seen a lot of those curveballs from Aaron Nola tonight. Bo Bichette sends a rocket to left field. It is gone. Number nine on the season for Bichette. And the Blue Jays are on the board. And look how he gets the barrel to it. He has such a unique ability to draw his hands close to his body and keep the barrel over the plate. At Concordia University as Bichette drives this one to deep center field. A two run home run. You just can't keep pitching Bo Bichette the same way and I mean location middle away fastball sliders cutters all middle. Swung on hit in the air to deep left field. Watch where this pitch is trying to go away but it runs in but this is what Bo can do that a lot of hitters can't he pulls the hands and look how close they are to his body that allows the barrel to give you space to get there inside but he also stays back behind the baseball so well. Bichette high in the air to left center field and he's done it again his second home run in as many nights in his 14th on the season. We weren't kidding about the All-Star game, folks. This guy should start the All-Star game. 426 feet, and he hit that one to dead center. So he's found his way on base. And he hits Ooh. this ball hard out to left field. That one's got a chance. It is gone! Over the bullpens in left field, and Simeon has tied the game at one. He certainly has, and if you remember that first at bat, Castillo was a little bit careful with Marcus Simeon using the slider, and then again in this at bat, but he comes back with a fastball right down the middle, and this is right where Marcus wants it. He is really good against the fastball. He said he leaves 15 minutes after the last bus gets there. Ooh, this ball blasted high in the air, deep out to left. Kemp looks up, it's gone. A home run for Marcus Simeon. His seventh of the year and the Rangers have a two nothing lead. You can see the numbers on it 403 feet and his 46th home run in this ballpark. We showed you the previous 45 and a lot of them looked just like this. And his 1 0 to Marcus Simeon. This one hit well out to left field. Looks like Marcus was ready too. It is gone. A leadoff home run by Marcus Simeon and the Rangers waste no time in striking first today. He talked about Oviedo being out on the mound before any of his other players looking like he was ready but he ends up making a big mistake right here to Marcus Simeon. The Rangers take another lead in the top of the first inning. All eyes were on them to carry everything. This ball smashed out to left that's got a chance gone. An exclamation point on an unreal day for this offense and for Marcus Simeon. They got a slider right here from Chris Flexen and one that did not do very much. We talked about it earlier. It's downward action, but it started high and finished pretty much right down the middle. And Marcus hits this one 402 feet. Bronco, a couple of hits and a run batted in last night in the 3 0 Rays win. That's a high shot deep back into center field. Mullins all the way to the wall for it, and that ball's going to get out of here. That's a home run to center field for Wander Franco on a 2 0 pitch. And the Rays grab the early lead, home run number seven for Franco. That is elite level bat manipulation. Fourth time that Sawinski comes to the plate and faces a lefty pitcher. And a chopper over the middle. Big hop, Franco's quick throw, got it, nicely done. Final out of the inning, bang bang play. That was a close play at first base. Had to wait for that chopper to come down and then handle the exchange in quick order. And the ground ball left side, backhanded by Franco. He throws across his body and gets Freeman, and that 
is an outstanding play. It doesn't get much better than what we've seen here out of Walls and now Wander Franco. The defense that he gives you, it is something else. And a fly ball back into left with some carry. Grossman back and it's gone. Home run off the bound of Franco. Wander Franco goes deep, a three run blast. And the Rays now lead by four, seven three. So the Rays storm right back. Home run number eight for Wander. You know, Texas tries to climb back in the game, and with one swing of the bat, the Rays have completely answered it. Now it's the Yankees' turn in the bottom of the ninth inning. You have the batters they want coming up. So here's Judge, power against power. High drive, left field, going back Hayes, track, wall, see ya, tie game. Judge does it, it's 5-5. Five, five. Now the captain crunched it. Wow, that's not coming back. 14th home run of the year. He can't help but laugh himself. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. Brugnet Odor will lead off against Garrett Cole. High fly ball, deep right field. Judge back. He's on the track. Leaps. And he makes the play. He hits one. And did he just take one away? <laughs> I don't know if he took it away, but it was sure close. Off the bat, it was one of those you kind of hold your breath. Yep, I think that ball was out of here. Drill deep to left field. That ball is off the pole. A home run. A laser to left field. A two run shot by Juz. And the Yankees lead three to one. One hundred and sixteen almost one hundred and seventeen miles an hour off the bat on a one one from Shelby Miller. Yanks one down the line towards the corner. It's got it up. Aaron Judge sneaks it over the wall in the left field corner. His 19th home run. He loves taking advantage of right field at Yankee Stadium. Yeah. Takes advantage of left here in L.A. Yeah, this wasn't going to be one of the most majestic ones, but it's the one that works when you pull it down the line. Trust me, he can hit him 100 feet over that distance, but he hit just enough on that breaking ball to hit a homer. Crack down the line. Back to the corner goes Judge. It is caught by Aaron Judge. Wow. It is so much more than just the home runs. He is Superman. I think Aaron Boone's going out to check the door. Actually, he's going out to check his right fielder because that was an incredible full speed into the fence. Thankfully, it gave a little bit. This is a big human being catching the ball and just blowing up the bullpen fence. Shohei with a drive, straight away center field. Julio Rodriguez back at the wall. It's gone. On to the berm. Tonight's starting pitcher for the Angels. It's showtime for Shohei Otani. He's the best player in the world, Wayne. Castillo made a mistake with the changeup up in the zone, and he did not miss it. He recognized it mid-flight and stood up on him and said, that baseball ain't coming back, baby. No one wears the Kabuto like Shohei. So he'll take his base with Otani coming up. High fly ball off the bat of Otani. Robert is back for it at the wall. That is gone. Shohei again. It's his second straight day with a homer. A two run blast off Lance Lynn and the Angels have a 4 1 lead. Trout and Otani home runs in the same game. Shohei now 14. And Otani blasting a two run homer his last time. Oh, oh man, this one is going a long way. Shohei with his second today. A rocket. That was squared up a long, long way. 111.8. Exit velocity for Shohei Otani. After some changeups, went fastball. Shohei, the home run. Two homers, that one 478 feet. Showtime, Shohei Otani on the hill. You see his record, his numbers at home is 80 Ks on the year, second in the American League. There's a strikeout on three pitches, so good morning, good afternoon, good night. Swing and a miss, he got him on the fastball. Oh my goodness, that is nasty. Swing and a miss, he's got 10 strikeouts on the night. His 14th start with 10 strikeouts or more since last season, which leads all of baseball. What a performance, six innings. You wanted to punch out, and you got it. 